The reproductive system is an organ system that is different for both males and females. We'll first of all start off by looking at the female reproductive system and we've got a diagram showing the front view and the side view of the system. The female reproductive system has two ovaries. These contain the egg cells and one egg cell is released each month out of either of the ovaries. The eggs will then travel along the oviducts or the fallopian tubes. These are the tubes that connect the ovaries to the uterus. Half of the diagram is open to show the uterus. The uterus or the womb is where the baby develops. At the end of the uterus is the cervix. It is the ring of muscle at the entrance to the uterus. Further down we have the vagina where the man's penis enters during sexual intercourse. Close by to the reproductive system we have part of the urinary system. We have the bladder which stores the urine and the urethra which is a tube that carries the urine out of the body. Now let's look at the male reproductive system. Again we've got a front and then a side view. The testis, first of all, is something that produces testosterone and sperm. A male has two altogether and together we call these the testes. Next the penis. This is the organ that carries urine and semen out of the body. The penis releases sperm into the vagina during sexual intercourse. The foreskin is the skin covering the end of the penis and this is retractable. The scrotum is the bag of skin holding the testes. Connecting the testes with the penis, either side there is a sperm duct. These are tubes that carry the sperm. There are also several glands as part of the reproductive system. These produce fluid and nutrients for the sperm. So the large one is the prostate gland, which you may have heard of. It is important to produce fluid and nutrients for the sperm, and the sperm and the fluid together is called semen, and the nutrients help to keep the sperm alive. Now the sperm is mixed with fluid and produce semen. This can, during sexual intercourse, travel along the urethra. In fact, the urethra carries urine and sperm, although not at the same time. At the top is the bladder, and this stores urine, which as we said will be released from the body through the urethra. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.